there, it's Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube. And today in one of my uh, interleaved Bibles, an interleaved Bible is one that has blank pages in between each of the other pages, which means it's an extra thick Bible. But I decided to put an acorn in here. There was a quote that I saw that came across, I don't know if it was Google or Instagram or something. It didn't have an attribution. I don't know who said it. But it was something to the effect of, because I just kind of jotted it down myself, something like, Scripture contains the Word of God the way the acorn contains the oak tree. It's all inside, but its presence is made known little by little. And I thought that was rather profound, even though it was rather simple. <laughs> it was just something that clicked with me. And, of course, I'm in a fall mood, so all of my... Artwork seems to be fall themed at this moment, unless it's Christmas preparation, because I'm doing that as well. But I decided to put an acorn into my interleave Bible. An interleave Bible has every other page blank, and I'm using a set of watercolor pencils. These are called Supracolor, and they're an artist quality pencil. There's lots of other pencil brands you can use, of course, but this one is just really nice. I like the way that the colors melt out when water touches them, including something as simple as a baby wipe. So that's what I'm using here. I've just scribbled color on and put some just kind of generally around the area where I was going to have my, my loose acorn, knowing that I was going to add other colors later. So I even added a little bit of the yellow from the baby wipe onto the acorn itself and then sandwiched it between two sheets of copier paper so I could flatten it out and then start doing a little bit more work on it. I did decide I would leave the paper underneath just so that I couldn't see the words through the next page. And then I can go in and refine the shape of the acorn. So I like this idea because you can refine it, you can change it, you can make it fatter or skinnier as needed after getting that first layer of color down, but it's very forgiving in that way. Now the top of an acorn has a kind of dark color on it for, mo for the most part. I did look up acorns and there's a whole bunch of different shapes. So you can do all kinds of fun shapes if you would like. There's some really great reference pictures with like two of them and a leaf and all different kinds of things. So you can follow whatever pictures you find that you would like. And the one that I was looking at had kind of a grid on top. So I just did some what's called cross hatching, just making lines in two different directions. And I left a highlight on the upper right hand side just for the fun of it. And then a little stem on top. And I wanted to put the tree on the inside since the, the acorn contains the oak tree but I wanted to create something around it so that it sort of felt like you were almost seeing in a, an x-ray fashion into the inside of the acorn, which meant that I needed to put some color on it. And I did that while leaving a little white outline. Well, not white at this point because the paper all has color on it, but I left some lighter color around that edge because that's going to make it feel a little more glassy, which is sort of what I was thinking of, of trying for here and added a couple different browns in there and then used the baby wipe again to just very lightly tap on the color and if you like wipe on it too much then you'll pull color off if you want to leave the richness of the color then just tap and sort of move it around a little bit uh, it's a really nice way to move color without having to get out of brush and getting the paper all soppy wet that sort of thing and then I tapped on the drawing part at the top, too, because that was just too detailed. I didn't want the focus to be up there. I wanted it to be down on my little tree that I'm going to put in the center section. But, of course, then I wanted to iron it again in between here. The iron that I'm using is just a regular old household iron, and I just put it on cotton setting and do it really quickly like that. Just a few times over top of it, and it pretty well flattens it out. Now, for the oak tree in the middle, oak trees are really easy. They're just kind of a cloud of stuff, just leaves and smoosh. So you can put, you know, all the, the leaves that you want. I'm using just a bunch of different green colors to, to make the oak tree leaves on it. And then I can add the uh, tree trunk on the bottom and a little bit of grass down below that. 
real simple kind of tree to make. And you can decide whether or not you want to move the color around with a baby wipe or if you want to grab a brush and move it with that. You'll get more of a kind of cloudy effect on your tree if you use a brush as opposed to a baby wipe, but either one will work just fine. As long as it looks something like a tree, that's really all that matters because once you put the quote on the page, it will explain itself. I decided I wanted to have some more color out there in my background. I wanted something a little more intense. So you can just add layer after layer after layer of colors, move it with the baby wipe, dry it, and then add some more color. So depending on your brand of watercolor pencils, you might need to add more or you might get away with less depending on how much uh, pigment that you get on th onto the paper because the higher quality the watercolor pencil, the more color you get out of the pencil and it'll put down more intense color for yourself. But that is really it. Just iron this puppy up and add the text. I added a little bit inside of the acorn itself and then I wrote the quote out down below. And that was all there is to it. A pretty simple page, but very effective, I think. I do hope that this quote blessed you the way that it did me and helps you to understand that God is going to keep unfolding his word in our hearts the more we study it. So spend plenty of time with him in the word and he will reveal it to you. All right, take care, you guys. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.